Welcome back everybody to Way of the Hunter. We are going to do something a little bit different today. I've seen a lot of people wanting to see a little more of Transylvania and I also asked in a poll recently what you guys would like me to hunt. Discovered Transylvanian mountain habitat. And I saw quite a few people wanting a chamois hunt in the poll that I put up so that's what we're going to be doing today. Now unfortunately this area right here is a private area so we will have to unlock this before we can hunt there, but we can still go to the Regina Mountain, which will actually be a pretty cool area to go to. Uh, my wife's been hunting here and it's actually produced uh, quite a few chamois, so I got a feeling we're gonna have some good luck up there. But first, we gotta go ahead and equip the proper rifle. You know, honestly, on first look, this is probably one of the coolest mountain ranges that I have seen in any hunting game. Way of the Hunter has really outdone themselves when it comes to the visuals of their maps and this is honestly no different. This is so beautiful. It's very barren, but to be honest, that is kind of what I would expect from these types of mountains where the chamois are located. So it really works. Like, it fits the area, and I'm glad that they designed them this way because this is going to make for some insane long-range hunting, and honestly, way of the hunter's long-range hunting is some of the best of any game, and we're going to really put it to the test today. Seriously, these mountains are just absolutely insane and I cannot wait to make some crazy long-range shots from up here. As I could totally see that being a possibility. Well, we just spooked off some chamois that unfortunately I wasn't able to see. Uh, we will have to kind of wait for them to get out into the open and see what's there. It's a one-star young. It seems like we got a one-star adult, a one-star mature. Nothing crazy big, but honestly spooking them off like this might be good for us as we could get them out into an opening where we can take a super long-range shot. And uh, know that there's not really any giants that we'd be risking uh, messing up and not really any good genetics ones we could accidentally take down and it, it actually seems like they're coming back so we might get a shot sooner than I thought. I accepted a mission from the landowner of that uh, plot of land that we'd like to get access to to be able to hunt some chamois and this was the first mission that we needed to do was to pick up all of this garbage so I figured we'd do that on our way to uh, the location that I'd like to check for some chamois unfortunately that group ended up getting away so we didn't get to take any down I took a couple shots and uh, sadly the 243 is just very inaccurate I don't understand why but it, it seems like it just does not do good with wind as you can see it's a very large circle and so we might just have to use the 308 it seems like the 308 is going to be a much more accurate round and I'm going to assume that just has to do with the wind and also obviously the velocity of the round itself. We have just spotted an opportunity that I don't think we're going to get too often. That is a chamois out there at about 630 meters. If we could somehow make that happen, that would be the most incredible shot I think we've ever took. Now we've shot a few things from long range but not something as small as a chamois. So I'm really wondering if we can make this happen. It definitely seems like it's possible with the 308. So if we get a perfect shot on one of these, I'm definitely going to take it. And honestly, that right there... <laughs> appeared to be a pretty decent hit. I think we vitally hit that chamois at over 600 meters and it disappeared. Um... Well, that's not normal. Well, I suppose regardless of whether or not we actually get to claim anything, the fact that we hit that shot is pretty incredible. And I've moved up a little bit and we've got some more chamois right here. If we can possibly get over there and find that first one that we just shot, I definitely will, but it's hard to say if it's even going to be there since it just disappeared out of nowhere. But anyway, we do have some chamois close if I can find them once again, and I think we're going to end up taking out one of those. And there they are right there. That guy right there actually looks to be pretty decent, so I think if we're going to take out any, it's definitely going to be that guy. Let's just see if we can get a solid shot into it. And just like that, we have dropped that chamois on the spot. The 308 is really doing the trick. Now I know we probably should be using the 243 so we can get a max uh, hunt rating, but unfortunately the 243 just does not have the uh, accuracy at these longer ranges that I need it to. But, I mean, we could always try it a little bit more. It's just going to be a little bit more risky. Yeah, that poor chamois stood no chance. And that is a lot of blood. Uh, yeah, a lot of blood. Instant time to expire. 
Seems like we hit quite a bit of different organs. Spine, artery, left lung. Quite the shot on a one-star adult male. Honestly, that was a good one to take down, too. We got full hunt rating on that as well. What did we shoot it with again? The 308. So you can 100% shoot the chamois with a 308 and be fine. And to be honest, I did not expect that. I thought 308 would be a little bit too big, but I'm pleasantly surprised that it's perfectly fine for chamois. That is really awesome. Well, it seems like we just unlocked another uh, mission to do. Harvest a chamois using a tier 5 firearm from 400 meters away in one shot. I think that is definitely something that is relatively doable and we should be able to hit a shot like that pretty quickly. We've already made a few of them, it's just going to be a matter of having them not disappear into thin air like that one did. And apparently this is a pretty prominent issue currently in the game and I'm hoping it'll be fixed soon, but my wife has been having some issues with the chamois as well. Which is very unfortunate because the chamois hunting is actually a lot of fun and I want to do some crazy long range shots, but half the time when they're far away, they just disintegrate into thin air whenever you take a shot on them. And though that most likely will get fixed within the next month or so, it's still very unfortunate that that's a thing that's happening at the launch of this game. And really hoping that within the next couple updates, things can kind of smooth out because this game has so much to offer and I'd love to be able to experience all of it. We have been given an opportunity that is probably going to be one of the most insane things we've ever done in Way of the Hunter. We've got some chamois about 700 to 750 meters out uh, by this lake over here and, well, we're going to try a super long shot to take one of them down with the 308. I do think this is very possible and we need to take one from over 400 with one shot anyway, so we might as well try it and make it insane like this. Because obviously we could just do a normal 400 meter shot, but I feel like we need to make it even more interesting than that. And this is definitely a little bit more interesting. So let's find a place that we can prone and we will see if we can make an insane shot like this one. Now there is three of them out there and obviously I want to maximize our chances at getting a good shot into one and dropping it in one hit. So I'm going to take whichever one gives us the opportunity, which just happens to be this one. And just like that, we have dropped it on the spot. That is absolutely insane. Now, I don't know if that was a male or a female, but regardless of what it was, that was crazy. Can we maybe get one more? That one may not have been a vital hit. But that was still a crazy shot. And just like that, we sunk another into it. And it's now out of render. That was one of the longest shots I have ever took. We hit both of them on that second one, though I will admit not my best shooting. Probably should have held out a little bit longer and waited for it to stop moving. But I couldn't resist. I wanted to try and hit that. And unfortunately, it seems like we hit a bit too far back. Well, there is our little chamois. That was a pretty crazy shot. I think this one actually was a male from what I can tell. Yeah, this was a male. It was a one-star adult, so we actually made a pretty good choice on which one to take. We managed to hit it from 697 meters, so almost 700. Definitely would have preferred to get over 700, but I'll still take it. That was still a great shot on it. And we managed to kill it with just a double lung. Honestly, chamois hunting is incredibly fun. The fact that you can use the 308 on them and it just drops them in their tracks really makes this long range hunting just even more satisfying. I also did want to note that clear up here in these mountains, I'm getting over 140 FPS, um, even at times up to 180. So uh, for anybody that's having performance issues running this game, I would definitely suggest coming up into these mountains and hunting chamois to kind of get away from that because it seems like the performance is a million times better up here. You can probably just tell by the gameplay footage itself that it seems much more smooth and it really is a crazy difference between the lowlands where all the trees are and clear up here where there's virtually no trees. So if you guys are having performance issues, definitely recommend coming up here until they kind of iron some of those out. Unfortunately, I could not find that other chamois that we ended up shooting, so I've decided to come back to the cabin and collect the next job from the cabin owner. Let's hope that this one will be relatively easy, as that first one was not too difficult at all. It says that we need to find an animal need zone for the gray wolf, which honestly should not be too difficult. I think we can easily find that. After moving around a bit more, we have found another group of chamois next to this lake over here about 500 meters out. 
Now this is definitely not going to be as difficult of a shot, but I don't know if any of these are males. So that's going to be the one unfortunate thing here is I can't really see them that well, so... We're just going to have to hope that we shoot the right one. I think I'll use my other scope to get a closer look at them real quickly. But honestly, it doesn't seem to help too much. However, I feel like this one is a little bit bigger, so we will go for that guy. Definitely seems like the larger of the two males that are there. And just like that, we got a good hit into it. The question is, will that end up killing it or will it survive? Well, it just went down right there, so I think that was indeed a good shot. And if we can, we will attempt to make this one as well, because that actually looks like a pretty decent male. Uh, the problem is, I don't want to take another running shot, as that has not ended very well any of the times that we've done it, so... Provided it stops, we'll take it, but if it doesn't, then I mean, it is what it is. And it's behind the hill, so... Yeah, I think we're not going to get that one. Well, there is our chamois, and once again, this does look like a male, and it is. So let's see, we got a one-star adult, 46% genetics. Honestly, I've been very happy with the ones we've been taking out. These have all been very good ones when it comes to just getting bad genetics out of the group. That's nice. That's, uh, that's really good to know. And it seems like this shot right here pretty much just got the artery. I mean, there was a little bit of damage to some of the other stuff like liver and left lung, but really most of that was just severing the artery, which is probably why it ran a decent bit and didn't just instantly die. So there is some more chamois down there at about 400 meters. I think we can easily get one of these. This is the closest shot we have took in a while. Now, once again, it's just going to be a matter of figuring out which one to prioritize because it's kind of difficult to tell from this far away. Uh, even in a situation like this where they're closer than those last couple shots, it's still not easy. And to be honest, some of these aren't even looking like chamois now. Now that I'm actually getting a closer look at them. But I think those ones with the slightly bigger bodies are definitely the males, so we're going to go ahead and get this guy since he's not really moving. Unfortunately, he moved right as I took the shot, but I think it's still a very good hit. So I think regardless, it's going to go down, which is nice. And we even do get time to take down one more if we want to, as they did not decide to run away. Or at least, not all of them. So we're going to take that opportunity to actually get this guy right here. And unfortunately, I think we missed, but it is what it is. It was worth another chance, but... Just, uh, sadly didn't get it. And I heard something run off, but I don't even know where. Well, we've got some more chamois, about 220 out, as I'm coming down to go claim that one that we just took down. Uh, this guy is actually a pretty bad one when it comes to genetics. It's a one-star mature, so definitely want to get it down. Let's see if we can hit a shot like this. Unfortunately, it seems like that shot didn't kill it, which I was kind of thinking that would be the case, but since the 308 has done so well on them, I wanted to see if we could get into a lung with a weird angle like that, but it just didn't work out, thankfully. He's right there so we can get another shot into him, and that one will definitely take him down. So it seems the blood trail is going right through there. You can see it kind of brushed up on that bush there. But I wanted to take a look at this real quick because that is the most insane wound I think we've seen on one of these chamois so far. And it didn't even drop in its tracks. I'm guessing we severed an artery once again. And that's the reason that it was bleeding so much as it was going down. And there's another one star mature, which is definitely something I cannot pass up on when it comes to getting it down. Considering we are trying to make our herds the best they can possibly be. Just like that, we got another chamois down. So we've got three of them to claim. This hunt has gone from being kind of slow to absolutely incredible, to be honest. So the next objective to this wolf mission that we were doing is to read the entry in the encyclopedia. So let's just real quickly go here and find the gray wolf, which I believe is right there. There we go. So I'm assuming that is going to complete this one. Actually, we need to harvest two female wolves. Well then, I don't think we're going to find any of them today, but at some point we'll definitely get that done. There it is. There is our chamois. This one should be that one star mature that we had to shoot twice, actually. You know, it's looking like we shot the wrong one. This was a one-star adult, but it is 46% on the genetics. I'm really curious which one I shot first then, because this was definitely not it. This is that one-star mature that we took out on top of the mountain. I wonder if this is the one, and it is. This is the one that we shot first, so good to know. 
And also, it seems that our bullet just hit farther back than what I had wanted. So that's good to know there. The second shot, though, much better than the first. Took it down relatively quickly. In fact, it dropped it on the spot. And that's a one-star, 29% genetics. Uh, mature male. Definitely another one we wanted to get down. We've been getting a lot of the bad genetics ones out of our herds today, which is really awesome. And in the meantime, we've also been making some crazy shots. I cannot, for the life of me, figure out where we shot that last chamois. I've looked all around this bridge, which I thought was where we killed it, but... There is seemingly nothing here. Which is unfortunate because that one was the one that we actually didn't get a chance to spot and it would have been nice to know whether or not we are losing out on a 5 star. I don't think it was, but still, knowing that I'm not able to claim it because I can't find the blood is a little bit worrying that we might have possibly lost something good. But on that note, I think it's time we bring this little chamois hunt to an end, and I really hope you guys enjoyed this. This was different than all of the hunts that we've done previously, and it was honestly a lot of fun taking these super long-range shots on one of the smaller animals in the game that can still be uh, taken with a rifle as large as a 308. It was a ton of fun, and my gosh, I am so happy they actually allow us to use the 308 on something like a chamois. I know in Call of the Wild, you're not able to do something like that. You got to use something like the 243, but in this game, they definitely made it a little bit, I guess, more loose when it comes to what you can use on them, which is really awesome. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. If you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, click that like button, and ring that notification bell so that you guys will never miss any of the future uploads. Also, be sure to leave a comment down below if you guys enjoyed this, and I will try to respond to as many of them as I can. With that being said, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all. In the next one, peace.